championship continues tonight from BC Place in Vancouver with the Impact and Whitecaps continuing the Battle of the North. These two clubs uh, compete in this home and home series tonight with the winner advancing to the finals and a chance to play for the Voyagers Cup. The MLS teams join in later in the competition after the, the amateur teams and the semi-pro teams uh, knock each other out and uh, it's kind of the, you know, our payment to, you know, being a top level team, we get to advance straight to the semi-final round, I suppose. It's a short tournament and uh, there are only a few games to get there, but those games are that much more meaningful based on what's at stake. Montreal has played once in the refurbished BC Place, losing last year their first game in Major League Soccer. The Caps 2-0, we'll see what happens here this evening. First time we won it with the, the MLS group was in Vancouver, uh, and it was, it was a great emotional experience for all the guys that played in that. And there it is, the Montreal Impact have won the Voyagers Cup. You know, winning leads you to be able to the Champions League. We know how big it is. Uh, we remember the run Montreal had a couple of years ago. Uh, it was unreal, you know, the city uh, lived for, for that competition. Yeah, I think I was in uh, Spain at that time. Uh, it was either Spain or Germany. Uh, but yeah, I remember it was very special. I had a couple of friends uh, that are still on the team now. Being in places like the Azteca, being in places like Costa Rica and uh, having all the, all the chips stacked against us. 20,000 fans right on top of you, screaming at you, uh, throwing things at you, yelling things. Um, you know, it, it certainly is intimidating. The shot! There it is! And it is Romero! I know that a lot of the guys now at that point felt that, you know, there was the championship was in reach and um, even going into halftime of the second leg uh, I think that there was probably a lot of uh, optimism that you know we could you know close out the the series and become champions. Martinez over Sparks. Oh they've equalized our side for Quintero and they've got the go-ahead goal all across oh my goodness that's game set and match. You know, I think that anytime you get that close to something so monumental and so historic um, and, and you can feel it in your fingers and, and it slips away, uh, it certainly stings. And, you know, I think the reason it stings so much is because you know how hard it is to get there. And, and for us, we're still, we're still looking for a way to get back. Uh, it kind of sparks something in you. and. Um, you know, it gives me a little bit more hunger to, to drive the group, to push the guys, you know, on the field to, to take the cup as seriously as we can and, and try to get back to those, you know, extreme emotions. Montreal Impact and Vancouver Whitecaps huddle up and burst out to each end. The winner of this tie will go on to meet Toronto as they thumped Ottawa today in the second leg, 3-0 for a 4-0 aggregate win. They'll be off to the Canadian Championship Finals and we'll look to repeat it. Three Canadians in each starting 11 and we are underway. I think it's a very uh, physical team, uh, you know, with uh, Kai Kamara on top, uh, Waston uh, defense, you know, I think it's a big threat on the uh, set pieces. Every time we play against them, we have troubles. Ball across for Kai Kamara, almost misses the tap in there. He almost got the right toe to it. It was great service from Tybert and just what you want to see from the Whitecaps early in this one, a great chance in the seventh minute. You know, I think that anytime you play a group of young guys like Vancouver typically has on the field, uh, you know, you can let your guard down a little bit. If you're not ready to, to match the level of intensity or physicality or work rate or any of those things, you're going to pay for it. He has the overlapping run of Nerwinski who's kept going. Maybe a clunk of heads has taken the Montreal defender out of it. And it falls down for Jordi Reyna, who scores. It's an excellent service from Nerwinski. And Reyna smashes it in first time on the right foot. The Whitecaps have equaled the aggregate. It's now 1-1 on aggregate and 1-0 here at BC Place. I looked up. I saw it. Uh, 
Kai take away two defenders, so I decided to cut it back and honestly it wasn't that great of a ball, but you already made it look that good. Launch some service back into the area if you're a Whitecaps fan. Marcel Diong is he bundled over? It is a penalty! Marcel Diong puts the touch just in front of Shamit Shomit. It's gone the way of the Caps. It's Kai Kamara, number 23, hands on his hips. Clement Diop making himself big. Kamara scores! Goes to the right side of the net, opens his body up. He beats the Senegalese keeper, and the Whitecaps are up 2-1 on aggregate. I've been criticized uh, for not keeping clean sheets, and uh, we put a lot of emphasis on keeping the ball out of our back, out of the back of our net. Um, and we did just that. Obviously, Steph made some some key saves for us tonight. But that's what you need. You need 11 guys to step up to the plate and three coming off the bench. Everybody stepped up, played their roles tonight, did their jobs, and that's why we got the result. And there goes the final whistle. The Whitecaps win two to nil on the evening. And they now move on to meet TFC, the reigning Canadian champions, in the final. Any final's big. You know, we, we set out in the beginning of the year to to win championships, to win trophies, and this is another trophy that we can win, and we want to do that.